Trump, who dangled his feet in the water of the GOP presidential race, is considered by many to be the extreme. And while it's not easy getting other Republican leaders to talk about Sheriff Joe, not on your side spent the day trying anyway. And we want to know what Sheriff Joe's own party has to say about the latest dust up shining a not so bright light on Arizona. Not on your side's Marcelino Benito continues our team coverage. Racist, extreme, or just plain crazy? What's behind Sheriff Joe's obsession with the president's birth certificate? Well, I thought it was hilarious. Uh, I mean, he, he makes a fool of himself and, and a fool of Arizona. And that's why political scientist Peter Gudunov says the GOP is ducking for cover on this one. And you'd rather just not talk about it. That's a smart thing for them. Do nothing. Say nothing. That's what we found when we tried getting answers from GOP leaders. Few called back. The ones that did skirted around the issue. Pima County Sheriff candidate Mark Napier tells not on your side, Joe is very tenacious, but the issue has been put to bed. GOP committeeman Bruce Ash says the economy is the party's focus. And quite frankly, uh, it, it's just it's just stupid. But Tucson's lone Republican councilman had more to say about Joe. It's yet another example of why other areas of this country look at Arizona and just scratch their heads and say, what are they drinking down there? Whatever it is, it's some pretty strong stuff. Gudunov says our Pio's report is so far fetched, it makes Arizona look as extreme as states like Mississippi did during the civil rights movement. You know, this is the old, uh, old white people, basically, who see America changing. And Kazachik, a moderate Republican, says Arizona can't afford that any longer. Tonight, he's one voice calling on Joe to go. This isn't a partisan issue. This is simply a matter of a guy who is just gone off the deep end and it's time that maybe uh, you, know, you, you cash your chips, Joe, and go find another line of work and let us get a sheriff up there who's not going to embarrass the state. Now, the state of Hawaii did respond to the latest round of allegations from Sheriff Joe. They say they are not true, misinformed, and misconstrue Hawaii law. Marcelino, anyone you spoke with, did they have any idea why the sheriff would bring this up again? No one knows really for sure, Jennifer. That's really the million-dollar question. But there is a big court day tomorrow that Sheriff Joe is getting ready for. Absolutely, Marcelino. Thank